Hi everyone, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at AWS We Invite and look who are with me, Ed Wong, CTO at TileDB. Ed, welcome back to the Robert Show. So yes, excited yes. to have you. Really excited to be here. Yeah. What's happening, Ed? Uh, we are here at AWS. I know since the last time when we spoke, yep. there are a lot of things that have changed at TileDB and you all have moved uh, very quickly in the space and uh, I've been also talking to a few customers, so learning a lot. But tell us what's new, what's happening. Okay, the biggest news uh, is we just released our newest architecture, TidyBX. Right. That is a uh, cloud native uh, storage engine built on top of uh, blob storage. Right. Yeah, so we actually get a lot of positive feedback from the early adapters, so that's quite promising. Yeah. Yeah, and I want to ask a question around, you know, a little bit in the past. Uh, the last five years in data were defined by unbundling, using Pinecon for vectors, Snowflake for analytics, and Postgres apps, uh, right? Uh, uh, you are betting uh, very much on farm on unification, right? Yeah. Uh, tell us more about uh, what that means with TileDBX uh, and how do you see consolidation playing out against uh, the DBs hmm. going forward? To me, traditionally in the old day, you know, uh, unbundling is a good idea because different workloads have a different uh, infrastructure assumptions. But today, we are actually living or entering a new world that the AI agent jumped between the workloads. Uh, and uh, for example, like uh, you can use just one prompt to build a full stack application. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, in such cases, I think introducing different uh, database or different data source that creates a lot of complexity. Yes. So that the unified and the simple interface that will be really crucial to the AI agent. AI agent so right. that in the old day, we don't have the, all the uh, necessary component or the you know, technology to make the unification or the unified platform possible. But yep. nowadays, I think a lot of uh, new technology like S3, blob storage, and uh, you know, elastic computing uh, make all of this uh, possible, so that uh, that's the core idea of TidyBX. We want to provide a unified interface, uh, not only for the developer today, but also for the AI agent to reduce all the complexity. Yes. Yes, I love it. I love those insights and uh, definitely helps uh, reduce the complexity and make it easier yeah. is the key here. What I'm kind of also hearing with TileDBX, you are moving away from the shared nothing architecture where data lives on local disks on a model where object storage like S3 is the backbone. Why make that shift now? What's okay. the reason behind it? Tell us yeah. more about that. Yeah, you know, uh, in the other day, TileDB comes from the shared nothing uh, architecture. Right. Uh, but nowadays we are shifting to the you know uh, shared storage architecture. You know the shared nothing. Uh, you know in the old day because we are living lived uh, uh, in a world that the compute and storage coupled together. Yes. And the shared nothing yep. really good for predictable workload. Mm -hmm. But just like I mentioned uh, today, you cannot imagine the maybe. Imagine a scenario, thousands of AI agents that create short-lived, unpredictable uh, workload, a lot of one-time data, one-time databases. Yep. So if you're still using a share nothing architecture, that means a lot of you know, infrastructure cost. So that, that's why we are, you know, want to leverage the S3 and uh, uh, the elastic architecture yep, to, yep. to you know uh, make it possible yep. and yeah so basically the short answer is cost and uh, the scale scale cost and yeah. scale kind yeah. of plays a very important role uh, yes. in the long term as well and with i feel like with growing ai agents all these kind of come together very quickly yeah so that's awesome i also wanted to you know obviously ask you a little bit about the recent blog that you all put out with manis AI. oh yeah right uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what was that in uh, what uh, you know let's take a scenario where uh, in which i have like 10000 ai agents and they all want to for database how do you handle that physically? Tell us more about it and how is TileDBX kind yeah. of playing an important role there? You know, before diving to the technical details, yeah. I want to share a little bit why Manus use, use the database in this pattern. You know, 
because you know uh, Manos provide a, a general purpose AI agent uh, to allow the user build a full stack web application with one some simple prompt. So the, the, the AI agent will create a database and try different approach. Yep. Yep. And uh, you know, uh, so it is really imagine like you cannot most of the time the AI agent will not generate the correct or the final uh, answer or the final web app or application. Right. Uh, in one time. So it, it takes a while. It takes a while. Yeah, yeah. Different try and using some pattern like exploration, so that the, the database uh, need to provide something like the branching capability to make you know the the LM and the AI to use this kind of pattern. Under the hood, you know how TidyBX can support this workload because we actually don't copy the data around, you know, when you create a new branch, we don't copy the, the whole data. We just create the met, new metadata. We create yes. a new snapshot. Yeah. Yeah. So it's what we call lightweight branch. So we only store the delta of the, uh, the the data when you, so that dramatically reduce the cost of the storage yep. and also improve the speed of creating a new branch. So yes. that's, yeah. And I also heard from Max the formula that you use is X Y Z. Yeah, X Y Z. Yeah, I, I love it. I love uh, you know how you're like kind of you know obviously helping these partners and uh, you know obviously to scale not yeah. only just scale but also very cost effective. So that yes. is amazing. Uh, another quick question for you, Ed. Uh, bringing this home to the engineering vision, you have used the term context aware to describe the future of TileDB, right? What does a uh, you know context of a database actually do? Does this mean the database will actually be able to look at the query, or how does it all work? Tell us a little bit yeah. about that as well. You know, in, in the old day, uh, in the traditional database world, yep. uh, you you can you just cannot you know uh, sending. For example, the database cannot reshape it itself for the workload, but in a cloud native. World, if you are, you are going to build a distributed and a cloud native database, I think that somehow possible. Just like I said, the most important thing is a unified interface. But under the hood, we still have a different uh, engine. For example, when the user need a, a transaction high performance workload, the interface will redirect this query to the OLTB engine. If the the customer want to do some vector search, we will redirect to the vector engine. Yep. But wire the unified interface. You know, in the old days, if you you're, you're control your own infrastructure, it's super hard. But in the cloud, you can actually do, do this. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that will provide the ease of use and interface to the to the application le level. So that, you know, my, my vision is we provide the as simple as possible interface to the application and to the AI agent, leave the complexity in our side. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I, that's, I love that's it. my reason. Making it easy and uh, you know working on the complexity with your engineering team just uh, is the best thing. One quick question, and I promise this is the last one, okay. uh, is around if you have to sh give any advice to the leaders who are wanting to use TideDBX, what would it be and what can they achieve out of it? First, uh, you mean the value? The value of, that they'll get, obviously, from using TideDBX. First, it is future-proofed. That means if you are going to, you know, everyone is talking about the AI agent, uh, the, 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 the AI workload. I think TideDBX is a database built for the AI. AI. So that's an AI-native uh, and uh, AI-friendly database. I think that's the, the first one thing. The second thing is the cost. Cost. Yeah, because if you want to use the database at large scale, because you know, AI agent can be 100, even 1,000 times more efficient than the human being. <laughs> so you true. need to control the cost. Cost. Yeah, the, if you can you, have multiple agents yeah. everywhere doing yeah. work for you, but then yeah. the cost will also go up. Yes. So you need to be careful about that. Exactly. Yeah. So you know, the TidyBX will bring the because we have a pay as you go and the scale to zero mechanism in the 
and the guardrails that you all have in place as well yes. to make sure that the agents you know, are not overspending on exactly the if you're not using it exactly exactly okay. so that's the big big value and uh, i would say a lot of really good feedback from the customer uh, on on the cost control yeah part of the tidy bags yes yeah uh, that's awesome i think yeah. uh, these are fantastic uh, advices yeah. that you kind of you know shared and in the agent world where we are i feel this is so important yeah. in terms of understanding that oh you can have so many different agents uh, being deployed but then you need to first also make sure that the cost is not going up. Exactly. And you don't the want the runaway bill, right? Yeah, and at the same time also focus on the scalability. Yeah. So yes. uh, that's the problem I think TileDB solves X exactly. solves very well. Yeah, just like our slogan, from zero to petabytes. Petabytes. Right? Yeah. No, yes. I love it. I love it. Ed, uh, we'll keep the conversation going. I yeah. absolutely loved, you know, chatting with you last time this year. <laughs> We've learned so much again. Thank we'll you. We'll keep the conversation going. I uh, love the work that you yeah. and IDB team have been doing. Keep up the great work and definitely looking forward to catching up. Thank soon. you. Thank you. Thank Always you. love to talk with you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank, Thank you. you everyone for